Most students learning cybersecurity have a common question. Can we make money legally by hacking? Yes you can. I will list four methods to make money legally by hacking. I will now explain each method individually and also give you a brief information on how to make money. The first method is becoming a freelancer. If you don't want to work under a company then you can be a freelancer. There are many freelancer websites that you can access. These do not require any qualifications or experience. So anyone with knowledge skills can apply to these. I will list some of the freelance websites that are popular. I will provide links in the description. The websites like Upwork, Fiverr, People Per Hour, Freelancer, Toptal are very popular in these type of jobs. A freelancing website provides interface between businessmen or companies and freelancers. You can pick the task that you are skilled at and can enter your bid. If the company accepts your proposal you can start the work. As you go on doing these, the companies gives you rating and based on that you will be notified by top companies. They may contact you directly and give you tasks. So further on you are in no need of freelancer websites. But this process is very slow and you should wait for companies to pick you. As you start, companies don't know you. So a good certificates or projects that you have done on the task you applied may get you notified fast. So it takes much time to be notified by companies but as it is a free platform you can give it a try. Another option is you can go for bug bounty programs. There are so many bug bounty platforms. I will list some websites and will include the links in the description. Websites like Bug Crowd, HackerOne are the best bug bounty platforms in my opinion. The companies and system owners provide their systems, websites in these platforms and allow hackers to hack them. As the companies allow you to hack their systems or websites, it is legal to hack them. You can register in the platform and search for the systems that you think you can hack. Then you search for bugs in the systems of the companies and when you find bugs you report them. Then the company checks the bug and provide you a bounty based on the bug severity. As you go on finding bugs your rank in the dashboard increases and you will be notified by companies and some may hire you as consultants or freelancers and ask you to check their whole company for bugs. Companies may also offer you a job if you are good at dashboard. As in freelancers you wait for companies to pick you but here you pick the companies you want to hack. To do bug bounty you don't need any qualifications or experience. All of us know this method, that is, to get a job. In cybersecurity you can get a job mostly, when you have experience in tech, and have degree certificate. There are so many designations you can apply for in cybersecurity field. Some of them are listed here. Security researcher, pen tester, security architect, security analyst. In these jobs based on their designation the work is given. For example a pen tester is given a system and asked to hack it and file a report of system. For a tester to test the system and find loopholes, that may lead to leakage of data. Some jobs include how to program, such that there are no bugs that can be used for hackers. Unfortunately in cybersecurity field having skills is not enough. To get a job you need to have a qualification probably cybersecurity related, or have certifications on cybersecurity courses. Experience is mostly taken into consideration in top cybersecurity jobs. The package for cybersecurity jobs are very high nowadays, they play a major role in tech industries. The final method is to teach, like me. You can create videos of your lectures such that the students can understand the topic. You can create videos and upload it in YouTube, Udemy or other platforms. Based on your teaching, you will be popular and, if students start to like the videos then you will get more money. You can also create courses and start to teach in your unique way. Always give examples and show how we can get to use the topic in real life scenario. Please like and share the video. And subscribe to the channel.